right up until you know 1940 probably it's everything's wood there's no other choice you know board's been made out of wood for it's got to be 1,500 years. And then they started going to this method of building hollow boards with internal frames. And the, and the boards were still very simple in, in shape. You know, they were square boxes. You knew it was a surfboard because um, it was pointy at both ends. That's, that's all that really mattered. <laughs> that's, right. all. Um, that's really where wooden boards essentially ended. I mean, foam suddenly, boom, was on the scene. And um, wood essentially went away. In the 40s, they started to they started to figure out that uh, that they could use some of these modern materials, fiberglass and, and, uh, and polyurethane foams. Once they got it figured out, it just ran, you know, and they, they, innovation just happened so quickly because the, the cycle is very short to, to build or test a new type of foam board. And being able to replicate those shapes that they've, they've evolved in the last 60 years in that rapid prototyping phase, we're now at the end of that period, and we're taking a lot of the knowledge that's been built through that, that experience and we're able to take this older, an older method of building boards and modernize the method so that we can now build these modern shapes. With all the knowledge and technology that was available and coming back to what we think is the superior material to use from the very beginning of surfboard building. It's about a year ago, uh, Mike and I were in California and we went by uh, Channel Islands and we talked to them about the idea of building one of their boards uh, using our method of construction. And uh, they've licensed us to build these boards using this method. For us, the idea of, of taking one of Al Merrick's shapes, and uh, this one was designed in 2008 for Rob Machado, and the idea of doing that with this construction method, that is just awesome, you know? So technology from 1929, shape from last year.